So Terra Classic burned to $1, burned to one cent. Let's talk about that and how that's gonna be possible in today's video. Also, we're gonna be going over some news on Terra Classic and much more. So if you guys wanna see all that, make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video uh, so you don't miss out on any of this extremely important information. Also, leave a like and subscribe. Get your free stock with the first link in the description. Join our Discord with the second link in the description. Other than that, let's get straight into this video. So Terra Classic is currently sitting down about 6% on the day. Um, now this is going to be down about 5% from Bitcoin and 5% from Ethereum as well. Uh, so Bitcoin and Ethereum kind of just sitting there at the uh, slightly in the green spot. Uh, Terra Classic, however, um, is not being updated. It, it should be closer. Yeah, now it's down only about 1%. Uh, so it has started to recover a bit um, as we are talking here. And we'll talk about that in the technical analysis at the end of this video. Today, I wanna to talk about how it is possible to get to one cent with Terra Classic still. And as we're talking, we have seen it flip into the green um, and almost doing better than both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be talking about all of that in today's video. Uh, but first I do wanna mention uh, the, the market cap of Terra Classic is currently ranked number 216 in the world with a $390 million market cap. Uh, the volume is sitting at about $85 million, which is down 14% over the past 24 hours. When you take a look at this historical data, you can see over the past five days, we have not been able uh, to get a volume above $100 million. Um, at one point today, it was. However, we saw a very low volume over the past couple of um, over the past couple of hours, so th th it has dipped back down. However, once we get it back into the $100 million range, we can definitely see some more wild swings in prices, which we like because we think it'll go green. Uh, but anyways, Let's talk some more about uh, the Terra Classic news. But first, I do want to mention that you can get a free stock worth up to $300 when you deposit just $1 on public.com with the first link in the description. All you have to do is do that. It's a social investing app. It's a great social investing app where you can see um, our portfolio, other investors' portfolio that you may know, Graham, Stefan, other people. Uh, so yeah, do that. Deposit $1 and you'll get up to $300 worth of free stock. Um, and yeah, uh, but anyways, let's get into the news for today. So I want to go over a few different things that um, Lucy has in the pipeline that, and as well as burns that I think is going to send us to at least a cent and in a bull, very bullish case scenario, get us to $1. Uh, so yeah, uh, first let's go over the staking. Uh, so a lot of people like staking in the crypto world. Well, a proposal has been made to re-enable staking, um, and yeah, uh, this proposal uh, aims to make the following changes. Re-enable staking delegations on Terra Classic exclusively to the current active validator set for a period of 60 days. Uh, the, the ability to create new validators will remain disabled until the block height hits this on August 22nd. Um, the new validators can be created after the block height um, at, on the 22nd of August. Um, so yeah, the motivation behind this. Staking was disabled on Terra Classic as a security measure to prevent malicious entities from attacking the, the network. This, however, led to a governance issue where the basic rights of delegating and voting on governance uh, proposals are being denied to about 99% of Loon C holders, which is a fundamental right. Um, in order to restore the fundamental rights of the Loon C holders, to vote as well as to ensure the network is secure from attacks. They propose to re-enable staking exclusively to existing validator set for a period of 60 days. So hopefully they can get staking re-enabled so more people want to invest in Terra Classic. Now let's go over this re, uh, roadmap proposal. Um, now they want to uh, remove team leadership. This includes Do Kwon as well as Terraform Labs. Uh, now this is for good reason. South Korea just banned Terra, uh, Terra employees exit from the country country amid their investigation. So uh, basically, if you guys don't know what happened, uh, this person from Terraform Labs basically said the Korean government imposed an exit ban for all ex Terra money um, employees today. And you can see it right here. So uh, there are some real investigations going on with Terra Classic as we speak. Um, so they basically want to uh, get rid of this leadership with Terra, uh, Terra Classic, uh, as well as Do Kwon specifically, um, in order to get that negative attention away from Terra Classic. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing. The next thing is implementing a transaction tax of 1.2% on both Loon C and USTC. USTC is gonna be the new algorithmic stablecoin, as you can see in part D of their roadmap proposal. Obviously, like we just said, they wanna re-enable staking, um, and then also, we 
we want to get new tokens and stable coins. And then we want to have PR marketing and advertising for LUNC as well as USTC. We want uh, LUNC and USTC to have a website and social media accounts. And then we want to create a team of LUNC and USTC members. Um, so that's the whole roadmap on how we're going to be able to make this a coin that is worthy of being one cent or one dollar once again. Um, but yeah, the real way we are going to be doing this though is through our burn mechanisms. Now there is something that is not talked about in this specific article um, that is going on and that's going to be a 35% um, of the fees on the native Terra chain uh, that are going to be burned. Now that is a separate uh, burn than this one that got passed um, that will be in effect as well. Uh, but this one is going to be a 1.2% burn tax. Uh, this mechanism will be true until the total supply equals 10 billion Loon C. After that, the mechanism is disabled and the total supply can never be changed again. This is to be implemented on all transactions, on exchanges, native Terra chain, and to be suggested officially by the Terra team on all social media that exchanges do the same thing until the condition is met. Uh, so with this burn, as well as the other burn I told you about before, they want to get the uh, total supply to 10 billion Loon C. Now, if that were the case, we would be able to um, get to a one cent um, or price of one cent uh, with a market cap of 100 million. Now I know what you're saying, we're already there. Um, so yeah, if we are able to uh, get to a uh, circulating supply of 10 billion Loon C, a market cap of 100 million would put us at one cent. Um, now everyone wants to get this to a dollar because that would be obviously massive gains. In order for that to happen, um, say we have kept the same circulating supply and we are successful in our burn mechanisms with this as well as the other one I talked about, um, then uh, we would need to get a mar get to a market cap of uh, $10 billion. Now, Terra Classic or Terra Luna before had met that and a lot, lot more um, before. However, it will take a bit to get back to that number. I think a cent is inevitable for Terra Classic. However, a dollar might be a bit more um, tough to do, especially if the price keeps rising um, and we keep seeing this kind of bullish movement. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how we can get back to a dollar or one cent. I also want to mention, guys, um, that if you guys have not already, go ahead and get signed up to our free section of our private Discord. Um, you guys can get free stock option plays as well as crypto plays in there. So go ahead and use the second link in our description to get joined up to our free section of our private Discord. Uh, but other than that, I also want to go over our technical analysis real quick. Uh, so very recently, we had a very big increase in price the other day when we broke this uh, cup and handle, basically. Um, and we got to a new resistance of 63. Um, however, we do have have this new support here at the um, six, uh, 57. Uh, so we have held support here very, very well. We are now trending up on the MACD. The RSI is only at 60. Uh, so I could see us get to this resistance once again. If we do break that, we have an upside to the 70, which from here would be about 15 to 25% in gain. So let's hope we can do that. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Also go ahead and get um, signed up to our free free section of our private discord with the second link in the description. Uh, definitely get your free stock with the first link in the description. Other than that, I'm Zach from Finance Bro. Take it easy.